Another beautiful soccer-specific venue, this one in Commerce City, Colorado. It's Dick's Sporting Goods Park. This is where the Houston Dynamo will wind up their 2012 MLS regular season. They take on the Colorado Rapids. For two under Dominic Kinnear, let's go to the wide midfield positions, Javon Watson and Alex Dixon. Javon Watson, a player that got a lot of minutes early in the season but has fallen out of favor. Let's don't get left back. Chris Kloop, he's going to be going up against Javon Watson, so that's going to be an interesting matchup because he's a player that's in the same position that wants to gain a spot on the team next year. Look there, Dominic Oduro, uh, Dominic Kinnear, excuse me, Dominic Oduro will be on the Chicago Fire coming up. Omar Cummings, the Jamaican international, gets things underway here. And he is a flyer up front for Colorado as Lorenowitz will stick it forward here. Eric off the goal kick. Rebounded after maybe getting caught positionally on the first Olympia goal earlier in the week. There's huge space in midfield right now, and it's a problem for the Dynamo. This long range hit is in. Smashed in by Colorado. It is Kamani Hill who picks up his fifth of the year, and he was a danger man from the opening whistle. But Glenn, what? Watch, watch where he picks up the ball. Three times in a row now, three consecutive sequences. The space in front of Andrew Hayno and Nathan Sturgis. He picks the ball up here. Andrew's backing off. Barnes is caught too high. Sturgis doesn't engage early enough. Uh, it takes a deflection too, unfortunate. That's a bit unlucky for the Dynamo. But they cannot allow Kamani Hill to pick up the ball in that area. They have to get Camargo to sit back a little bit for Barnes to sit back a little bit. That's three times in a row now. Uh, Sturgis delivers. The header, fantastic save from Sayas. Stuart Sayas got up and steered it over the crossbar, and that was the art of goalkeeping. And look at the, the angle and the speed and pace of the ball allows Cam Reaver, all he has to do is redirect it, this Cam. He doesn't have to snap it, he just has to redirect it. Good thing the goalkeeper's 6-2. But Cam Weaver, Cam Weaver is a player who has really stepped up this year. Hasn't had a lot of minutes, but scored a lot of goals. Rapids in possession. Rivero plays in Clute in his first MLS appearance. Shot got saved by Derek. Took a de deflection that could have went anywhere off Castrolone. Dominic Kinnear made a switch. He brought Warren Craval over from the other side. Warren, he's going to learn a lesson on this one. He's got to, he can't get square to the ball as he did there. He's got to keep his body a little more open and maybe take one more step back towards the goal so he keeps Clute in his peripheral vision so he knows where he's going. That's a, that's a tough one to miss. That one's harder to miss than make. The Dynamo are fortunate to only be one nil down now. Derek, we've said it before, he's one of the most underrated players in Major League Soccer. Not only because he can't get a game because of Tally Hall, but I would imagine that others have inquired about the services of Tyler Derrick because he's been molded into a very mature goalkeeper over the years. Sturgis delivers. Ball is loose. Can Cam Weaver get turned? Hano's in there to glance graciously into the hands of Sales. Jeff Lorenowitz. Clips in a wonderful ball here. It is Colorado now back in the Dynamo in. Colorado to make it two. Derek, or somebody got a piece of it. And out comes Javon Watson, the Jamaican international, who was a part of that Jamaica team that beat the U.S. Warren Craval. He, he goes after the ball, but just doesn't get enough of it. I see all the fans bundled up here. Temperature in the upper 30s. And it'll be a free kick now for Colorado. Kofi Sarkozy is going to be lucky not to get a yellow card here. It's completely uncalled for. Doesn't need to do that. Driven on the ground. That shot, boy. Almost steered on target. Lorenowitz got all of it, but did not hit the target. But uh, threatening moment there from Colorado again. This is not spontaneous. This is something they work out on the training ground. But usually you see someone setting a pick on his man. But Barnes, really good recognition to get out. That guy's not. He 
He's not feeling the altitude or the cold weather, I don't think. <laughs> Those what he's. Space again down this side of the field. Rapids have got a number of players in the box. There's an empty net. It's rifled. What a save from Derek and then headed in. Colorado's up 2-0. And it is the second half sub, Andre Akpon. Derek had recovered. And then Akpon headed in for the second Colorado goal. Comes from the same place. Colorado picks up the ball behind Luis Camargo. Because Luis Camargo is so slow getting back, Kofi Sarkodi and Andrew Hano are th two versus three for Colorado in the box here. Luis Camargo is too slow to get back here. There's no excuse for a player that's playing for his spot in the team next year to not be sprinting back. Derek denies Rivero first. Went for the cross, recovers, and then uh, unmarked and easily heading home is Akpon. Swings it in. Sayo slapped it down. It's cleared off the line. He gifted the Dynamo a chance, and Hunter Freeman, the former Dynamo, kicked it off the line. Back in it comes again, the header. Seos again struggling, but will hold it here in the 87th minute. Brad just putting it in a, di in a difficult spot. Falls right at the feet of Ricardo Clark, but Kalen Carr is in his way. Uh. Just uh, poor handling. And, you know, Seos hasn't had a lot to do tonight. Might, his fingertips might be a little bit cold. Davis was in a good position. His cross got flicked away. Sarkoti laid it in, trying to hit it on the volley. I'm a bit surprised Brad Davis didn't strike that first time. Stoppage time, game over. Colorado, 2-0 winners over Houston. Goals from Kamani Hill and Andre Akpan. Season over. From a regular season standpoint for the Colorado Rapids, they will not go on to the playoffs. The Houston Dynamo will.